Yeah, Miriam, it really was an emphatic victory for Labor and the Premier, Daniel Andrews. As the counting continues now, it does look like uh, the Labor Party will have win a similar amount of seats to, uh, to what it won in the 2018 election, which is around about 55, and so it'll, it'll retain a very, that very healthy majority that it, uh, that it had during the last four years in, in Parliament. It's an extraordinary result, given that the Labor Party had to govern through the pandemic and make uh, many very tough decisions that had a, a very big impact on people's lives. There were swings away from uh, from Labor in the uh, the western suburbs of Melbourne and in the northern suburbs of Melbourne, quite significant swings against Labor. But uh, the party um, holds those seats. They're pretty very safe seats. And so that swing against Labor didn't translate into any lost seats. It's a different picture in the east. That's an area east of Melbourne, uh, the eastern suburbs of Melbourne and, and southern suburbs down to the Mornington Peninsula, uh, where the Liberal Party was hoping to pick up some of the marginal seats in that area. But the swing uh, that was against Labor in the West wasn't there in the East. And in fact, they're looking likely to actually pick up a couple of seats that they probably uh, didn't think they'd gain as a, as a result. Now, the, the whole, uh, the, the overall result is a real personal triumph for Daniel Andrews. Uh, he spoke to reporters a short time ago. He said he celebrated with a few glasses of wine uh, while his staff uh, got on the beers. I did not get on the beers, but many others did. Which I thoroughly endorse because <laughs> we're back. Victoria's open. And not just open for business. Victoria's open for big ideas and reform. We are always at our best when we lead our nation and be in no doubt about that, we are leading our nation in so many areas. And uh, to think now that my good friend, my very, very good friend, Albo, uh, is a partner to do that work now. Someone else who doesn't occupy the office. He wanted it for the work as well. And they've made a fast start and we look forward to doing lots of big and important reform with the Federal Labor Government because uh, that's how you get things done. Daniel Andrews there. Danny, no celebration though for the Liberal Party. Matthew Guy also announcing that he'll be standing down as Liberal leader. That's right. That announcement came in a statement about an hour or so ago. It's certainly not a surprise. Uh, Matthew Guy has now led the Liberal Party to two pretty heavy uh, defeats in state elections. Uh, so now the question is, who will lead the Liberal Party uh, over the next term of Parliament? Probably the leading candidate uh, is, uh, a, uh, is John Pesciuto, but he's involved in a very tight race in the seat of Hawthorne. He lost that, uh, that electorate in 2018 to Labor. He's recontesting and he's up against a Teal candidate who's uh, running him very close to the line. Um, I think the last time I checked, he was about 500 votes ahead uh, of the Teal candidate, Melissa Lowe. Um, so many people in the Liberal Party will be hoping he gets across the line uh, and becomes uh, becomes you know a candidate at least and probably the lead candidate for the liberal leadership